Hello, ladies, chins, and butt sniffing dogmen. We return to Spelunky 2 and all the mysteries that it entails. Oh, I'm so excited about finding out what the hell the freaking alien compass has. But first, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to absolutely wreck some ass in this place. Please stop talking so I can talk to you again. This, this tutorial is going to be aced by yours truly. Especially with this point of damage, not really a slowdown. It is just a, a next level strat. I really love the the clown music because it truly illustrates the way that I play this game. And the pathetic, shameful way in which I subject myself to absolute stupidity in this tutorial level. It's like a show of all the dumb things I'm about to do. I always forget to use the rope at the very end. So you can rope out of that. That was very, very shameful. One of these days I'm going to get that 30 second thing. Maybe it will help if I don't take that point of damage at the start. And I don't... Um, I don't take that point of damage at the start. And I don't forget about ropes. You're hiding, aren't you? You're hiding, you. Oh, that's adorable. He's sleeping. I feel almost bad. Almost bad, I feel. How about getting real close to him? Real close to him. Wake up! You piece of garbage! Turns out he's dead. <laughs> They're sleeping soundly, and I can't disturb them? My bullying has been foiled. I can't believe it. My bullying has been foiled. Like, it's, it's just wrong. It's wrong. I was entitled. I was entitled to that victim, and I can't believe I was not allowed to do terrible things to Rafi. Starting to become kind of creepy and cruel. Look, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. I didn't make Margo into the horrible person that she is. What, do you think it's all my responsibility? I'm just role-playing. How dare you even suggest that it's all my doing because of my weird headcanon of Margo being a terrible bully to sloth people. So what? So what? Is she a, a, a racist pirate? It's, I didn't make her this way. It's all in the journal, the, the hidden journal. Before you make your smartest remark of actually quoting the journal to me, the hidden journal that only veterans to Spelunky are privy to, like myself. Ask DT, ask Jamie White. They will tell you. Actually, they won't tell you because it's pretty secret. Obviously. They will corroborate my story, though. But there are there's a bunch of secret entries that give you all this hidden lore of these characters. And you're just not in the in crowd. What can I say? I'm sorry that you're not as elite as my amazing axis. I think that maybe... That maybe the Ujarai area. Let's just put a bomb there and find out. Okay, we have discovered an incredible secret. What may there be here? <laughs> just a caveman corpse. He is literally just a dead man. <laughs> this is a disturbing discovery. Alright, well, it wasn't here. So we need to go all the way back up. Find that stupid Ujarai because he has... It is no longer an optional thing. Must find Ujarai. Where is it? What a terrible seed. Why do you do this to me? There it is. Why do I... Why must I suffer this... This... This terrible shame? Bring this enormous price of having to... Spend so many... It's just... Restart worthy, honestly. <laughs> it's just garbage. Uh, I guess we can bomb our way in there. And that will leave our resources somewhat reasonable. No, nope. well, not exactly what I wanted, but... Ah, kind of terrible. The fact that I couldn't do anything else but spend so many resources. It's alright, just buy some ropes from this very gentle individual. There's no real need to be murdering that poor bastard. He'll come what's coming to him. Son of a bitch, shopkeepers, brother. There are actual real problems now. Not at the start, I've gone back and forth because I just didn't have the whole picture. Don't you understand? I didn't have the whole the whole picture. 
now that I have traversed the more advanced areas in the game, I truly have recognized the shopkeepers as an actual real problem. When you get to the frickin' City of Gold, you get to those temple levels. Sure. You get to those temple levels, you get to all those advanced areas. That there are so many dangers that a shopkeeper on top of it is just the breaking point. And it, you truly feel it. It's like, I don't want to reach those places with angry shopkeepers. It's, it's a nightmare. So, you know, I'm going out of more out of my way. 8,000, huh? We can actually afford that. Well, he does not like moles encroaching his property. I'll tell you that much. He must be growing turnips. I'm going to use a rope here instead of a bomb. Because, oh, look at that. Neat. Super neat. Get some cash out of this. What was I saying? He must be growing some turnips. Those moles are really cramping his style. Look at me, buying climbing gloves. Amazing. I don't want to destroy that because it is a real possibility that the shopkeeper will be mad. There you go. Uh, so yeah, now that I have a, a more clear picture, I need to go back on my advice. I need to go back on my, on my word. Perhaps not completely, but I do hesitate a lot more to say, oh yeah, kill all the shopkeepers, you won't regret it. Depends on what they're selling. Are they selling 49 bombs? Then, yeah, sure. Still try to steal it, though. So, uh, and that is why, see, that is why. It is the wisest choice to hold off on any kind of tutorial, tips, materials, any kind of uh, video like that. I need to be, in order for me to be authoritative, 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 I need to know exactly what I'm talking about. And that doesn't happen just by reading a couple guides. You need to know exactly all the nuts and bolts. What's happening. Sure, I'll take this. This filthy creature. I don't really have a good means of destruct destroying him. Would you like to roll? You're not gonna roll, are you? Let's just let go of this matog. So dumb. Why do I do this? <laughs> anyway. Yup. Please get damaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of damage done to your freaking face. Ah! He kind of speeds up if you hit him when he's rolling. It's more of a problem. Roll over. I will grab the same rock and I keep using. No enemy atop me. Oh, jeez, I did not want to see that. That was awful. I can't believe I just witnessed. What an atrocious death we just witnessed. That was awful, awful, awful. Ah! <laughs> oh. Everything's under control. All right, we can matok our way through. I just want the health and the, you know, the health and the bombs from this garbage man entrails. Alrighty. You're still alive. I would love for you to go F yourself. You have done a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure one more point of damage will be enough. <laughs> we went to Volcana before. And honestly, I think I should go to Volcana again. Because I don't have gloves. I mean, I don't have boots. And... With that alien compass? I'm like... Uh-oh. You know what? You know what? You know what? Do you want to live forever? Do you want to be rich? I want to be rich. Uh-oh. I want to be rich. <laughs> Away from me, you psycho. All right. Give me this ghost. I mean, give me this diamond, please. I did not get diamond diced, and I feel terribly, terribly slighted. Let me just... I'm really going for that, aren't I? I'm truly going for that. I shouldn't be relegated to having to spend that. That was dumb. Do we even have a way down? I don't think we do. So we can just uh, dig our way down. It's all good. 
Look. Look at me. I created some diamonds. I did a thing. Aren't you proud of me? There you go. Amazing. Pretty sure this is doable. I implore you, don't set me on fire. Yeah, it is, it is doable. Just a uh, challenge. Maybe it would help a lot if I just eliminate the threats. That <laughs> would help quite a great deal. And, uh, give me a key so I can free our Bram Stoker friend, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln Vampire Hunter. It's okay, it won't drop into lava and immediately melt. That <laughs> doesn't happen in Volcana. That was, what a silly concept. Ah. This gobbler. Your mount is mine! In fact... Kapoof. <laughs> we can immediately make some delicious roast. Yep. Oh, you need to actually be dead. Oh, come on, brother. <laughs> we don't want it to grow. get roasted. There was a lava blob. God damn it. <laughs> Just leave him behind. Use this key. I'm assuming that Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter is right here. Please. I forget that I have the climbing gloves. Freaking purchased the climbing gloves. Ugh. You have been living with a with a reanimated skeleton all this time. You weirdo. What were you doing to that skeleton? Is that the spirit of your previous victims? You're not a good person, are you? You're a terrible, terrible human being. Look, there's a lot of cash and I'm going to grab it. Because uh, I've been converted to the ways of the cash monger. Do roast the thing. Please. Son of a... <laughs> I'm to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Because I am too damn stupid to get this turkey roasted in a timely fashion. Do erupt in flames. Thank you. Holy crap. There. That's how it's done. Only took a couple thousand attempts. Once more. Big fan of Gronk and all his shenanigans. On average, I think they are more helpful than Henderson. But of course, you know, the times that they're Henderson, they're going to get you killed. Perhaps not the greatest choice I ever made, but I am glad that we got rid of the incredible Rock Guardian. Okay, this is an alien Matok. What do you do if I go in there with an alien Matok? Probably nothing, right? Now we can do a little bit of science here. Coming here with an alien Matok. Let's see what he does. Okay, good. It counts just as normal Matok, so we're going to use up two of them. We're going to be able to dig through the entire of this place. That's broken by a dozen. Finish the challenge. It's a special Matok specifically designed for the challenge, and it's the only one that may break and finish it. Super great crate. Fantastic, awesome, good stuff. I mean, if I'm going to be able to get more good stuff, there you are. There's no reason to not get more money. I guess I'll just keep digging like a retard. I'm about to asphyxiate. There's just so much, only so much air in here. Starting to smell like sulfur and terrible death. Let's get out of here. All right, I have been congratulated on my incredible work. Now I don't have a mad talk though. I'm okay with that. I'm at peace with that particular circumstance. Do not want to alert that robot because the robot will make the lava flow. And that is a bad, bad thing. Also can't really free Vigo without I mean, a real bad time. It's probably bad, right? <laughs> uh, there's nothing to be gained by go. Oh, a Kali out there. There's nothing much I can do with a Kali out there. Let's just go. There is the drill. We love it. I'm not going to do the drill skip. That will be insane. It's a speedrunning strategy. Open some door. 
open. Sun door? I look forward to finding out. Let's see if we can get Trepanator. Whoopla! What's over there? It's all those areas over there. It's kind of funky. Okay, so this lava right there that is probably blobbing down. Let's take it easy. Go over where this fire bug is at. And go down this way. There's the normal exit. I shun you normal exit, but I will get Trepanator through. Pretty sure still give you the point. Still gives you. Still give you. <laughs> this is what came out of my mouth. Uh, the point of health. It seems safe enough, right? No lava dropping down and just burning me to a horrendous crisp. Horrifying garbage. Sure. Another corpse pocket. We love corpse pockets. <laughs> they're they're uh, wonderful parts of this game. What was Blunky to be without corpse pockets? All right, let's just go in there. We do have Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer to help us out, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Between all the freed slaves and all the shenanigans we get up to in here, uh, it's really not that big of a threat. If you come in here with having freed the vampire hunter, if you have to face freaking Vlad all by yourself, a little bit more of a challenge. No vampires though, the, the previous one had like 20 of them. I want a cape. I mean, this should do. <gasps> That's not right. This is not right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it. I mean, please, uh, if you would be so kind to put a timestamp in the comments. I mean, this one is easy to find. <laughs> it's extremely easy to find this death. Pretty sure I can be forgiven for this horrendous death. Holy crap. Splunky, I'm telling you, we're entering that zone. We're entering that time in my Splunky career in which the game has to actively cheat. Just concoct some nonsense scenarios that are just utterly unreasonable for anybody to expect. Come on, <laughs> that will teach me to leave Gronk, Ugdug, and Garogawa alive. That will teach me, right? It was them that attacked Vlad and made him telefrag me. If I had been all by myself in that situation, in that scenario, I would have been just keeping my white berth after the arrow failed to kill Vlad. I would have been all right. Well, I need a different strategy here. But I didn't have time to do that. All I had time to do was go bleh. That's not right. That's not right. They do murder upon you. Let's be legit with Antonio Banderas. Ooh. There he goes. Yang is just a pseudonym. He's not going to fool me. It's going to be Yang Chance, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. You're the stupidest turkey. <laughs> the stupidest turkey in existence. Go down, please, so you may trigger things. Just buy it. No. I deny you. All right, well, let's get back to where we're at. Look, at the very least, I can be pretty damn proud of the fact that it's been pretty good. Dwelling deaths are the vast minority of deaths these days. I just die horrendously in some other place. But dwelling deaths are nearly non-existent. They do happen, especially with idiotic mishaps with the Mole Man. But most of the time, I just get out there, get roasted, I get stabbed by mosquitoes. Horrible meteorites come down from the sky to destroy me. The vultures feast on my corpse, but not in the dwelling. Not in the dwelling. I think this is a primo. A primo. Um, theft. That's not good. Do it like so. It's okay, there's going to be extra free bombs. Completely free bombs. Uh, there, put that there, get him out. Uh, let me just. No, no, not the bombs. Definitely not the bombs. I just want to do this properly. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Up with you. Give me all your stuff. 
there's the exit. I mean, it's not trivial to get through. And it's not too bad, right? We There we go. We can now simply skip the crap out of him. And the exit that's coming up, what's the worst that can happen? We're going to get there. Ah, there was a live skeleton that actually pushed me onto an enemy. It's just not right. All right, disgusting creature. Oh, that is one thing that happened. We have boots, but no pack. I really do want to find out what's the deal with the alien compass. And the only one to get it so far that I've seen is it dead. Nope. Um, eh. Okay, now that he got shotgunned, should be easy enough to just get him murdered with regular blunt objects. And get another skull. It should be easy peasy. Let's get some more damage. Probably like two more hits will do it. There we go. Sweet. Um, The only way to get that alien compass that I know so far is freeing freaking uh, Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter. So I will continue having the same patterns. Now Volcana is the actual preferred method of uh, doing business. Because I really want to find out about that alien compass. Like, the mothership was by far my favorite area in Spelunky HD. Okay, we should be able to just, just push this down and leave. I think this is forgiveness right here. Nice. All right, we give get away with our crimes. Love it. Nothing to be found this way. Just carry on through these but there were terrible places. Just go all the way down. That looks like the exit. I was forgiven. It's so good. Let me just ignore you for just a moment. Because this is uh, what I was looking for. Kind of important now. I was completely dismissive of it. Now it's like, oh boy, this is like a, a big deal. I didn't realize it. Oopla. There's no real reason to say Vigo other than, you know, just be nice. Thank goodness that guy does not push the idol. I don't need the shotgun just yet. I just want to find the key. I have seven ropes, so I can feel free. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> ah, nice. Well done. Well played. Monkey. Well played. Garbage, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> oh boy. Where's the key though? It's getting really tough to find it. I have a minute and a half. We're good. Don't set me on fire. I'll be very rude of you. Did I just not see it? Am I being dumb? Am I being really obtuse? Ah, there's the cave. I, sh I just didn't see it the at the start. One point of health, but on the bright side, we have no items. So, you know, <gasps> almost died in a horrendous manner. Horrendous, I say. Why is life so hard <laughs> in this place? Don't reanimate a skeleton. All right, give me that money. I'm entitled to it. All righty. Shotgun for me. Oh, we, ah, that's right. <laughs> we have yet to deal with that guy. Alrighty. Whew. More things that need to be happening. A dark volcano level. Love me those. They're always amazing. Greatest thing in the world. Which shouldn't be too bad. It should not be too bad. Especially if there's no drill here. Should be safe, right? Stump on this scumbag. This creates an opening. Not a big deal. Please, deliver me from this nightmare. Just let me delay the terrible things that are happening. Just dig through the world without a care. Just go into these places, get money, get rich, and not have a single worry about the horrible dark monstrosity of a level that awaits me outside. You know what, Scorpion? You win. You win, Scorpion. 
that crate, I don't want it that hard. Because you can just kill me. You can just end this run. God damn it. I do have spike shoes. Oh, every time I get so damn nervous. That was so not worth it. <laughs> it's okay, though. It was a fine endeavor. Who dares gets murdered most of the time. But sometimes I do win. Our money has been made back. See if we can get this gem. There you go. What else can we possibly get to? I don't think I ever dug this way. Oh, man. No. Ah, it's too bad. You just didn't see it in the, at the start. And I am too damn afraid to use a bomb in there. I don't think that a rat-faced idiot looks very fondly upon that. Just follow that arrow and leave. Oh, look. Yeah, I could definitely use that health. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That should be the exit right there. I think there's some kind of fiery nonsense going down on at the bottom here. Seems to be all right. Okay. Another level complete. One more step closer to revenge on that telefragging son of a bitch that <laughs> destroyed everything I was trying to accomplish. This looks like an easy level. Should be able to just breeze through it. Okay, don't destroy it, please. I hate them so much. All these lava blobs. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't think that he could jump from a one tile trap. Okay, gonna have to go down this way. Oh, the crate. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think get damaged. And I resent it, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. Too bad about no damsel. I don't think I saw it. Could have, though. Well, lava is right here immediately to make my life... Come on, brother. That was not me. That was not me at all. It was the drill. A shop has been wrecked. Has been wrecked. I won that. On the turkey, I want it. I'm willing to risk life and limb to get it. Careful with that. Like, I'm watching this, but I can't point with the cursor like I always did. Uh, watching it, I don't think any more is gonna drop. Careful, careful, careful. Hop over. Down. Here we go. Shopkeeper is gone. What is that? Oh, it was just a shopkeeper corpse. <laughs> I was like, is that a special uh, black cape or something? This should be safe, right? This destroys the lava. So I can access the cape. It's not my fault. It's not my fault what just transpired. You just made it your store in the stupidest way, play, way possible. It's not my responsibility. You built it in the way of a, a deadly drilling machine? Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. You better don't disappoint me this time around. I've learned my lesson. Have I learned my lesson? I don't know. But this time around, I will not let the freaking slaves out. Because they are a freaking liability. I have lots of ropes, so let's do that. Here's a liability. There's just too much trouble. That is definitely triggered. I'm always so paranoid about this ghost jar. I'm always so paranoid. It's nice. Very nice. Alright. Let's flank this monstrosity. Please, no block. Oh, get wrecked. You son of a bitch. I can't believe that actually that a freaking cape damaged me. <laughs> what is that, brother? <laughs> a cape to the head. Just almost killed me. Ah. <laughs> oh no, you're not dead. I want my shotgun back. I'm willing to make you explode to get it. Alrighty. Where did my shotgun go? Well, this is upsetting. It's extremely upsetting. 
the, that cape didn't just do one point of damage, it did two points of damage. A piece of cloth! This army of Gronks looks completely nonsensical too. It's like, what's the point? They're all gonna die to Omek. If I get there. <laughs> if I make it that far. Mighty blustery of you to believe that you're going to get that far. I actually got that far. Amazing. Damsel? Yeah. Alright, well, made to Olmec most of the time. I mean, you can definitely die from fall damage here. Well, I don't have climbing gloves. I do have a shotgun, though. I do have a shotgun. Alright, this is fine. Oh, don't fall to... Don't die to fall damage, that'll be so humiliating. Alrighty. Nothing really to be done here, and then do the thing that we always do. Could definitely use a dog rescue. So maybe I should look into that before we get this done. I think I'm gonna look into it. I saw Major Stupid the Third. That's a pretty easy get. So we can do something like this. And hopefully I will make it far enough. Oh, but you're gonna get... Uh, I'm willing to spend a bomb. To get you in a safe spot, Major Stupid. Don't think I never did anything nice for you. Here I am, being a freaking amazing dog lover. Alrighty. Another of this special disgusting kind that people pay me to arrange. Wonderful kind that actually saves them. Gives them all kinds of friendly, non disgusting love. Ah. <sighs> Good old old McFight. You've already grown so old. See you on the other side. We should have a serviceable shaft. Now, the usual business. Our rope goes down. I hold on to it. And we're going to slide it down. I'm going to create some problems for old Mick. We will climb back up and immediately, hopefully, no, okay. It's alright, I'm not in a hurry, old Mick. We can, we can discuss the terms of your surrender. Yeah, gotcha, bitch. Not far enough, though. Ah, that's a terrible... That's a terrible location, Olmec. Actually, he probably should blow his himself up, right? I believe eventually a bomb will travel straight down. And uh, he will either free himself or he will actually destroy his own booties. But he's gotta be patient. Like, we could speed this up, but why would you do that? I mean, you can just be patient. Look at that. He, he did that now, and now he can travel. So good. So good. And that just happened. Destroys the place that I wanted to get onto. to just uh, jump over there but if I fail like if, if I had failed to get onto that platform right below Olmec right now uh, it would have been a really bad time so let's just put another rope here oh baby wow I think it destroyed one side not the other yeah okay, it's better this way do more and make my way all the way to the other side. Do your thing. And use the double jump. There you go. Nice. How awful is the bottom here? Should be easy enough. Uh, does it fit? Yeah. Oh, babe. What a freaking pain. Don't die to a bat. It'll be the worst you could do right now. Eh? Die to a bat. Die to fall damage. Terrible things both. Oh, you actually will need uh, some kind of transportation device to get all the way up to the top here. You couldn't make it without a rope. Mm. We're actually forgiven, so these beetles might be worth something worth grabbing i 
I'm so damn wary of the bat ruining everything right before we get that ankh. I mean, if we get the ankh and then we die. Disaster, you know, pretty, pretty, bad, pretty bad. Definitely not as bad. Uh, what exploded here? Oh, my bomb! <laughs> of course it did. All right. I would like, of course, to keep the shotgun, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. It occurs to me that you should always make the first shaft right here so you can use the ladder. It's a mistake. I want this point of health from Major Stupid. Do I want it more than I want the shotgun? That's a distinct possibility. Wanna make it all the way there? You won't. Well, now it's a mystery whether that shotgun would make it to the <laughs> made it to the place where I want it or not, but for the time being. I think I value more Major Stupid's life. As, as strange as that may sound to your ears, I value your life, Major Stupid. There you go. And like I said before, I'm so, so curious about that alien compass. I don't think this uh, shotgun is retrievable. All right, well, we're going to try. It may have fallen somewhere. Somewhere gettable? Nope. All right, never mind. Let's double jump, saving my bacon. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, to the temple we go. Without a shotgun, but major stupid, saving my anus. Never mind my transitioning to a succubus, mom. Never you mind. Hello, Anubis. Hello. This is bad. Uh-oh. Destructo disc is uh, a terrible thing. All right, well, throw another destructo disc at me so we can maybe cook a bomb. Get wrecked, son. Um, do another? Yeah, 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 you do it. Yep. Ah, way too, way too generous there. Only 12 bombs. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> was a little, a little too slow there. Damn it. Can't really spare so many. Sucks. Do we have the curse man? Yeah, look at that guy. Give me the weird ass compass. <laughs> Weirds me out. Okay, brother. Actually, ah, uh, he doesn't get any closer. No. No! <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. We have escaped terrible odds like this before. We have escaped terrible odds like this before. No, oh, it was too difficult. I should have used the scepter. I wanted to stomp it like we used to do in Splunky HD. But uh that was too rough, brother. That was so hard to get through. Okay, you're about to split too, so... The scepter is good. You know what's better? Why? I was called a vandal. Ah! I'm leaving. <laughs> leaving behind the scepter. Leaving behind everything. I'm just leaving. Oh, man. At least the run's still going. Holy crap. And we do have the alien compass. You know? That is something. Yes. I accept this challenge one of these days. Is actually going to work out. Unfortunately, no. Oh, come on, just grab it. Unfortunately, ah, I can't afford to take that damage. That's just not gonna work out, is it? <laughs> this is pretty damn terrible. I do have the the double jump, but this one right there. We're always super close. Actually, I missed the one in the middle right there. Now, I'm running out of excuses for my terrible incompetence. There. Matter of principle by now. Well, we have no tools of destruction, so I guess this crossbow is where it's at. 
Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, it's not the greatest. I accept your criticism. Filth. Destroy it. Oh, no. Okay, there's uh, Kali Altar. I see you, Crush Trap. You will not destroy me. Not in this particular instance. Maybe in five seconds from now. But not right now. Uh, I'd rather went up. Just use my crossbow. We have a filthy, disgusting necromancer. Seven bombs. This is a nightmare. <laughs> oh boy, this is a nightmare that it keeps getting worse the longer I wait. That is not where I wanted my bomb. Go away, crushed trap. I hate you. <laughs> Get destroyed. Hit me in the face. Ah! Remember, two points of damage on those. Oh, that's right! <laughs> I got too freaking destroyed by the 20,000 different enemies. Holy crap. This is too beating my ass, brother. It's just so hard. It's so difficult to get places in the temple. It's so tough. Without the shotgun, it's like it makes it so much harder. Everything is so much harder. And the thing is, I have pissed off shopkeepers through no fault of my own. Let it that be in the, on the record. But I'm not benefiting from the main buff of having killed shopkeepers, which is just blasting through everything. Anyway, that was a fun time. I guess we had a good time. I hope. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, don't get ghosted in the first level of the temple. It was very stressful.